and welcome to the channel thank you for tuning in thank you for su su subscribing uh, if you haven't done so please consider it's all free right today we are starting a new project so basically we've done the project with our <coughs> oyster mushrooms I just harvested another flush today there's some new ones coming here so yeah that project was very successful now we're starting a new one and basically we're trying to do the same with lion's mane i got a commercial strain i got a bag of grain spawn here fully colonized and yeah so we're gonna try it if it works similar to the oyster mushrooms and i already got prepared a bag of ash shavings which always been finished dripping and basically i was soaking it in or pasteurizing in water with saturated uh with hydrated lime and i got the ph to just under 12 and well basically it's an experiment i can't find any info on it if, it if it will work or won't so we have to try it so yeah we know that yeast and, and all this uh, bacteria and whatever only can tolerate it uh, ph up to 9.6 so so i kept it to like under 12 and then and then see if we see signs it will start or it has problems starting so i might drop the ph down to just over 10. so yeah but it's all fun all part of a project and i'm just waiting for my son and we're going to get started as i say it's a it's a commercial strain uh, it's just finished fully colonizing so yeah so i made up a little bucket not, not a big bucket like that i made up a smaller one don't want to use too much material I drill some holes in it and in the bottom for drainage and then see what happens so of course leave a comment if you have experiment ex experimented with the lion's mane on just pasteurized uh, substrates with hydrated lime so uh, let's see part of the fun let's see we might have a good result because energy costs are going up to the roof through the roof <laughs> so let's find ways of making it more low tech and low energy so okay stay tuned uh, so my son said he doesn't want to join me okay let's carry on with it and uh, I'll just put you down somewhere and then uh, we get going yeah. right now all we do is so we have our wood shavings here and uh, yeah these sacks because they are very very handy so basically what we're doing is just putting a uh, a layer of sawdust uh, of wood chips or shavings so we're doing just layering 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 so i just put a break it up a little bit The price is not that solid yet. So, yeah, all we do is just layer it. There you go. Another layer. Press it down firmly so it all connects. I 
might initially use a bit more spawn than normally just to, to accelerate it It's nice there. Yeah, that's so like nice projects you can do so like in the winter time when you have more time on your hand, the weather's rubbish outside. And you can do projects like that. So long you got a, a little place where it's a bit warm. Yeah, I was soaking the, the wood shavings in uh, in the lime bath for just under 24 hours. Yeah, I mean, 12 hours is sufficient. I mean the initial objective is just to see if the spawn will run, mycelium will grow, that's the initial objective and then, and then see if, if it will fruit or not, I don't know. Right, let's just put it on top. The cap. There we go. I could have done it a bit more, but that will do. Right, there you go. And I'll just put a lid on it. There we go. And put into a, a warmish place I'm gonna just put mine into like an air ironing cupboard and uh, yeah and we keep you updated if there's any progress or no progress so we have a look in about a week's time and then I keep you updated so for now that's it and thank you for watching and hopefully you follow this project any comments leave them below any suggestions whatever and yeah see you in about a week's time